briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1994 case of Atlas Corp v. Marine Insurance, the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York ruled on the issue of whether to join all parties in a single legal action or allow interpleader for a stakeholder facing multiple liabilities. The case involved the Atlas Corporation which filed an insurance claim for a 1991 burglary, accusing the primary insurers and excess insurers of not fulfilling their policy. The insurers argued that the loss was fraudulent and that Atlas had breached their insurance policies. The defendants, including both primary and excess insurers, requested that all creditors and claimants join them in the case. The court denied this motion, but allowed the defendants to interplead absent claimants under Rule 22. This enabled the insurers to avoid contradictory judgments and multiple liability. However, the motion to join all creditors under Rule 19 was denied, as potential prejudice to absent or existing parties outweighed the benefits. The court's decision highlights the delicate balance between protecting all parties involved in a legal action and ensuring that stakeholders do not face unfair exposure to multiple claims. By granting interpleader but denying the joinder of all creditors, the court demonstrated that it can balance these concerns while remaining true to the principles of fairness and equity. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.